Just tell me what you need It's all right here In Detroit Don't matter what it is It's all right here As long as you're passionate about what you do it should, it should be, that should be your job or work. I am Jasmine Harris of Creative Minds. We do murals, graphics, illustrations. We, we create and inspire. It's like a collaborative with other people, so that's why I always give credit like, yeah, I painted it, but who cut it out? and then sanded it down. So that's why I said Creative Minds is multiple, multiple things because we did illustrations, we did architecture, we did furniture design, you know, jewelry. It's multiple things. It depends on who you around, um, what comes out of you. That's what initially sparked me saying it's multiple people. That, that's inspired by one another, so we're gonna call this Creative Minds. Okay. Uh, tell me about how you meet up with different artists and invite them to be a part of the Creative Minds Collective. Uh, I meet artists by, you know, certain art events or birthday parties or art on the app, different things or after school programs. You just meet people on the street. Like you just Anywhere. talk to people and then they be like, oh yeah, I used to do something like that. And then I'll be like, you got some pictures? I could work with you on this. You may be interested in doing this. We doing this, you should come. As Jasmine and I talked more about Creative Minds, I asked her about some of the other artists involved with the collective. One of those artists is Halima. She's Jasmine's friend, neighbor, and a former muralist. Jasmine took me over there to meet her. Halima! Halima! <laughs> this is a little oasis hey. back here. The artistic duo has collaborated on several community murals featuring art by young children from the surrounding neighborhoods. I asked them to sit down and talk about some of their joint projects. We did the Loving Mural together with all those kids on the last day of school. Remember that wall had um, a bunch of graffiti on it and Nile was going to the school and I was like, eh, what can we do to cover that? Yeah, and we decided we would do like a paint day. It's been there going on eight years. Mm -hmm. We had like 300 students that worked on that put their hands on there in some some oh. form or fashion. I think that um, the murals don't get tagged over time because you get the people in that area involvement in it, so they value it. They live in there and it's not nothing that represents them. It's gonna get tagged. We had a poster up in the store that asked people to write down um, anything that they would like to see on this wall. And we took all the responses and the little sketches that people had and we came up with a design. I know that as a young person, getting to go from like an idea mm -hmm. to something that's actually in the world mm -hmm. is like huge. I think especially in Detroit, you know, young people getting to see they can affect the world, they can affect their environment. And it gets to be like a lasting thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, something you can come back to year after year and tell somebody else, oh, I did that. Yeah, and those experiences last a lifetime. Right. Creative Minds has made great strides to involve a community where their murals are to make sure that more than just their experiences last. To this day, you can still see a few of the murals that Jasmine and other artists like Halima have created in the city. But Creative Minds is more than murals. Jasmine introduced me to an archaeologist named Nubia who collaborated with Creative Minds for another kind of project. Hey. 
you get one too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go back in the garden. Yeah. Okay. After introductions were made, I asked the ladies to sit down and talk about the specifics of their joint venture. You do archaeology, and you had these images. You wanted to make a children's coloring book, mm -hmm. so you was like, "I could, I need uh, illustrations for right. my coloring book." Right. So um, that's how we did this. You know, the archaeology piece. A lot of people, when I say I'm an archaeologist, they're surprised. Right. I do lectures, and one of the things that inspired me to do the books is that when children come to the lectures, the board and looking at stuff and people talking thing is not enough. Yeah. They need to be engaged. You know, my focus was to, um, to bring children into history and culture, and so what a fun way to do it, then kind of introduce a history lesson as well as you know, the African heritage and to put it into a coloring book. This was, this was, Jazz totally created this image. This is totally her image. I showed you a bracelet, yeah. a picture of a bracelet, and I said, um, get this picture because this is Isis and this is the Kushite throne and da 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 da. And so she created this image, which is her totally her own creation. So the images in the book, um, it starts out with a picture of the Nile River, um, which is the Hobby River. I wanted to orientate the children to where Kush was. And so they're learning as they're coloring and to inspire children to enjoy history, to enjoy art, to enjoy um, geography, to enjoy geology, you know, and to, and to love themselves because uh, we as black people know that there's a lack of this information in the school systems. Um, it's, it's upon our shoulders to to share it with the youth and to share it with the community. If you don't think that your people have done anything and achieved anything, then that gives you poor self-esteem, psychologically, physically, and spiritually. Creative Minds was, I'm telling you, it was a pleasure to work. I'm, I'm not just saying that it was a pleasure to work with you. It was creative, it was on time, the quality was excellent, exceeded my expectations. I've been drawn for so long, it's like, it don't feel like work. I don't care what hours it is. It's like I'm still creating, making something. Yeah, the whole process was really wonderful. I would say it took us um, less than two months. If you if you initially come in knowing what you want and you have another person who's open to go back and forth with you, you could get the, the you know the job or whatever it needs to get done completed. Right.